Hey everyone, how's it going? Playing as black today. I'm gonna play our usual e4 c6 business here. Okay. Opponent does not take. Custom position. Kind of weird that it says that, no? Isn't this just called the advanced variation? Or advance variation of the Karo Khan? Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm taking my crazy pills. I could have sworn that's what it's that's what it was called. No. Oh. Playing Bimb, gu, Bimbo Guapo from Italy. Having a debate between Knight G6 and Knight F5. I like Knight F5 because it stops the queen from attacking H7. <clears throat> if he got something like a knight g5 out. But I do also like g6 because... Or f5. g6. I like g6 because uh, the pawn can't come out to g4 and attack f5. So I feel like if I go f5, he can push the pawn up and then I'm forced to bring my knight back down to e7. Which is... Uh, Basically a waste of moves. Or maybe it's not, since it weakens his kingside pawn structure. Hmm. Uh, let's try f5, I guess. I want to look up what the correct response is in that situation. I think I've gone back and forth between these two moves in past games before. And I'm always a bit unsure. E seven is kind of a bishop e seven is kind of a lame move because if he were to go g four, the knight would be forced back to a really horrible square. Never really quite thought about that. I think I'm just going to push c4 early here. c5, excuse me. And just try to get this bishop out to a better square. <clears throat> Why, though? Probably could have taken the pawn there at this point, but I think before I initiate the exchange, I just want to get the knight out to d7. Do I want to go for the exchange right now? He goes queen side, which is an interesting idea. I have like a giga fork. If I can get the knight out here. <laughs> uh, it's obviously not going to happen though. It's a funny idea. 
Okay, let's just get one more piece sort of active. Now, do we want to go... I think I'm going to go C6 and try to get the knight kind of closer to the action. I could pin his bishop after the knight gets, uh, if we do this exchange. And his bishop can't move. <clears throat> He'd be forced to protect it with the queen. <clears throat> That's one idea. <clears throat> I think queen c7 is the play here. No, he's going to take the pawn. I almost want to initiate the queen trade here on b6. Hmm. Queen b5 was a really good move from him. Maybe I should have initiated the uh, d4 trade a little bit earlier. Hmm. How much do I really care about b7 at this point? I'm doubly attacked. So I have to do something that's more oppressive. I think I have to trade a pawn for a pawn here. I think I just have to give up. I think I have to give up the pawn here. Well, this is actually a bit of a forcing move. Because uh, if he takes the pawn, I take his knight. Yeah, I think d4 was actually okay here. And then I can come in with queen c7 and protect both. But yeah, he's going to be forced to move his... Well, he, he can either recapture... Very surprising. We've got three defenders there on e4. So probably queen c7 is the next move. If I push up, he just recaptures with the rook. I won't think too hard about this. I could try to attack his queen and try to force it out. Just let him bring the rook out. I don't know if that's actually very good or not. To be honest. Kind of want to attack the queen with a6. I feel like it's the more forcing move here. 
rather than going just for the raw trades, but eh, I don't know. A trade's a trade, whatever. It's his rook out. He kind of disconnects his rooks, but then he can stack them. So, they could try to attack his rook and gain a pawn, but I'm not too concerned about this side of the board at this point. I'm more concerned about harassing this side. <clears throat> Attack the queen it is. This bishop is loose. I need to remember that. I could go attack his rook here at this point. I'll just activate these. Activate the rook. I imagine the two rooks on C and D can't be that bad. Hmm. This is a little bit problematic for me here. I think I have to move my king over. Hmm. That was a good move by him. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. I think I just have to go over to H8 here, right? I don't really want to push G6. I think pushing g6 is really bad. I could go for the the bishop sack here and then look for some funny moves. Then look for the really early mate. That would be something else. I think I'm forced to play king h8 here. I believe that's the play. My goal is to advance the D pawn and take advantage of the fact that this pawn is pinned. That's my goal. I don't know if H8 was the move. It just seemed like the logical thing to do. A lot of times when I end up with this queen or rook on the G file and the pawn in front of the king is pinned, I always run into some issues. So he unpins this pawn as well, which is probably good for him. 
Uh, I'm really tempted to try pushing this pawn up. And I've, I'm so tempted to sack the bishop. I'm so, so tempted. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Uh, so, so tempted. I just don't know how good that is. Still tempted. <laughs> Should I do it for entertainment? <laughs> Oh man, <clears throat> I really want to do it for entertainment. Maybe I should start pushing the pawns up here. Mm. Do I add another defender here? Or... Do I push the B pawns up and try to break this open? Mm, so many ideas here. There's a lot of ideas here. I don't know why that seems like the move, but for some reason it just does. You want to cook my rook. I do not want you to cook my rook. Could offer the trade here, but I think I'll be losing a pawn if I do that. And I think this bishop is going to be pretty valuable here for some reason. Oh, I think I'll just push up. This kind of sucks because it uh, blocks my rook from coming out here. Maybe I just have to kick this piece. You want to cook my rook? No, thank you. I need to be super mindful of the fact that the only thing separating our queens is this one pawn. So if it ever moves up for some reason, I need to keep that x-ray in mind. <clears throat> Probably h6 next so I can reclaim the d8 square. But then he can just go back to h4. And he's still controlling it. Honestly, maybe I should have went up to d5 there and tried taking this pawn here. Or just tried winning this pawn with the queen trade. I think that actually would have been better. Yeah, probably rook d5 would have been better here. And I'm kind of regretting that, but... I 
want to go queen b6 and see if I can just take this pawn for free. Adds another defender to d4 as well. But yeah, this pawn is pinned now, so I can take it for free. Which is nice. And I would actually technically just get mate if he didn't push up the b-pawn, but he's honestly playing pretty well. So I don't think he's going to fall for any, like, shenanigans here. I have way more pointing at his queen side than he does at my king side. I do need to be careful though, because if I move my bishop here, he will just win it with his queen. Oh yeah, I failed to notice that, I failed to notice that. I think honestly I should, probably should have pushed the b-pawn up first. Now my uh, my b-pawn is a bit blocked in here, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, I think that was a bit of a mistake actually. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of failed to notice that. I think that was a good move by him, but at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to push this pawn up and see if he'll just recapture with the pawn. Something tells me he won't. But you never know. I can't go a5 because I get forked. I want to get the b-pawn out. Storm the castle. <laughs> this e5 pawn is really interesting. It's sort of dividing all of the action. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's like preventing the bishops and the queens from like going after each other. It's kind of kind of interesting.
Interesting. So he has like three defenders on a3 here. Whatever. I'm storming the castle. I'm going to go for the queen trade. I don't want to go for the queen trade. I want to go over here so I can pin your pawn and just take it. I don't want to go for the queen trade. I think my queen is more valuable over here on a5. Or a a4, excuse me. I don't like I don't like the queen trade here. A4. If I if I play A4, it might be like the either the best move or the worst move I'll play this whole game. Could also just take the pawn. I'm gonna go A4. I might live to regret that. I guess we'll see, huh? One of my big problems right now is that the rooks are loose. Kind of kind of not great. Yeah, all my pieces are very disconnected. Like nothing's defending anything. <laughs> This is a bit of a double attack. The pawn is attacked and this pawn is attacked by the queen. And this pawn is very valuable. Isn't that kind of good for me? I think I'm going to take that and try to get this pawn at some point. He's got still has one, two, three defenders over here. If he takes the pawn, I'm not going to take with my bishop. I'm going to just take this pawn instead on c2. I'll let him have this pawn. It's not a big deal. It's fine, I have this check here. I can bring my rook over. Mm, it's going to be pretty close to mate. B8's the play, right?
And if only I had the uh, <clears throat> rook on the b-file, I could have just gotten mate here. Oh well. I think I didn't hang that. <laughs> you might try to do something weird like... Like attack with the rook or something on d2. I'll have the check here on c1 if he does that. And then once this king moves over, I'll have mate on b1. Mm -hmm. That's a good move. There's a check here, but it's not good because if I recapture with my pawn, he just gets a free rook. So I kind of want to trade the queen off over here on the b-file. I can always come back too. I don't know. Maybe this is a misplay. But we'll see. Actually, I think if he attacks my... Well, no. If he attacks... Well... No. Actually... Uh, am I losing a rook here? I might be losing a rook here. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. Am I losing a rook? I don't think so. I think I'm okay still. Winning a pawn. Mm, this is good for me. The pins is rook and I win a pawn. Nah, uh, but then I'm losing this. No, this is good. This is good for me. Yeah, rook's pinned. That's good for me. I just want a pawn there. I'll take it. Now his king is in the wide open air.
Maybe I should have went back here and tried to trade off over here. I think I messed up that 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 move there. Um Whatever, when in doubt, push upon, I guess. Mm, this one's a pawn. Wins another very valuable pawn. He's in check, so he can't move his rook. That's good. I will... Offer the trade here. Maybe that's not a good idea because I'm stacking pawns here. Okay. I don't think his rook can stop all of this. Yeah, how's he going to stop all this? I don't think he does. I have the check there. It's not very good. Okay. Thank you very much. <clears throat> the pressure's on. It's going to be pretty hard to lose here. Um, I mean, I guess. 
you want. Oh, did not see that one. Blunder alert. <laughs> I didn't see that. That was pretty stupid. <clears throat> Either case. I don't want to do that. Mm. Oh, shoot. Oh, I did not see that. Damn it. That was a good move by him. Hmm. Damn. Am I losing this? Man, I can't believe I lost two pawns in this whole process. Well, this pawn's definitely not getting across the board, but his king is cut off here. So. I'll happily go for the trade. Oh, is this a draw? Oh, GG. Wow. No, it's not a draw, is it? Man, I can't believe I lost three pawns in the end game. What the hell? Uh. Boom. Boom, boom. It goes here, go up here. Uh, I don't know if the move is here or here. Uh, I'm going to risk it. I don't know what the play here is. Lost three pawns in the end game. My gosh. Stalemate. I think I'm getting stalemated. Unfortunate. I just stalemated, didn't I? <laughs> uh, I think I stalemated. Let me think about this. There might have to be an in-between move here. Because if I push up here, he goes here. Yeah, if I push my pawn up to a2, actually this is stalemate if I go here because he can't move. And his king can't move, so I think I have to play like an in-between move. But how do I not lose this pawn? It's a never-ending stalemate, isn't it? My goodness. Damn. Feels bad, man. That's a stalemate. Ugh. <laughs> Let's try a different strategy. <laughs> Oh uh, no, I can't go there. <laughs> oh, bro. Ah. <laughs> Man, I should have won this so hard. Man, I lost three pawns in the end game. That's really rough. I made one bad move. No, oh, I just needed to go to the king, but aren't I just losing a pawn this way, though? I didn't see this check coming, I'll be honest. 
Yeah, so he wins the pawn here. Yeah, and then where do I go? King g3. Push this whole situation up. Yeah, one bl blunder threw it down the tube. Dang. There was no way to just not stalemate this. Man, what a bummer way to lose on another winning position. But let's look at the numbers. 81.2 to 81.2. So we were both awesome. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen like near identical stats. Yeah, it really just came down to that one rook move. I, it should have crossed my mind to just go, just go buddy up with the king. But um, yeah, what can you do? You live, you learn, and you move on. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and see you in the next one.